morning, everyone. Welcome back to Praying the Promises of the Cross in our Memory Decks creation. So today we are going to be looking at a couple of verses. The first one is Ephesians 1.5, and then we're going to be looking at John 1.12. So we are on day 31. So let's go ahead and read Ephesians 1 5 first. So this is um, under the unity in Christ, and then it talks about the spiritual blessings. So um, let's go ahead and see what Ephesians 1 5 has to say. It says, God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do and it gave him great pleasure. I really like the fact that it says that God decided in advance. <clears throat> so that is um, another way to constantly be remembering that um, we are adopted into his family, not by anything we have done, because God had decided this in advance. So now let's look at John 1, 12. And that is under the title, God Became a Human. So John 1, 12 reads... But to all who believed in him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. So that's just reaffirming that if you want to be a child of God, you have to believe in him and accept him. And that's what gives you the right to become a child of God. So... Like I've told you in the probably early part of this series, that the challenge that I signed up for was through um, Sojo Academy, and that's uh, headed up by uh, uh, AJ and Jan. And yesterday, I got... Was it yesterday? I don't know. Sometime this week, I got a an email uh, because they also have a podcast, and I'm going to link that podcast in the in the description below <clears throat> because it's about standing as a son or daughter of God, and basically the episode it is special to AJ because. Um, she shares her journey with adoption and then together with, with Jen, they discuss adoption as a biblical concept and its relevance to us. So if you want to learn more about, uh, this biblical adoption and hear AJ's story, then you can go ahead and go to that podcast that I link in the description to to read more about it, or to read, to hear more about it. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and pray, and then we'll see what I created. Okay, Heavenly Father, <clears throat> today you remind us again that our salvation is because of your work and not our own doing. You decided in advance to adopt us. You loved us so much that you made a way for us to be a part of your family as your children. Through Jesus' sacrifice, we <clears throat> are made heirs along with him. For all of us that have put our faith in Jesus as our Lord and Savior... We have been chosen and are now equal to all who have put their trust in you as well. 
You know us more deeply than anyone, and you know our needs even before we ask them. I thank you, Lord, that you have chosen me to be a part of your family. I am now your daughter, and what a beautiful relationship between a father and a daughter. In your name I pray, amen. Okay, <clears throat> so let's pull in some of the products that I used for today. And here is my card. Now, I'm using a lot of printables today for the background paper and also for all these little animals that are in that boat isn't that so cute I just thought um since we're all so different and and that there's no you know we're all equal in God's eyes once once we've been adopted into his family so I thought this would be a cute picture to show how um you know that we're all adopted like these little animals are all together. Oh, I just think this is so cute. So then I wanted this adopted by God. So I went ahead and created that in Canva and printed it out. And then I punched it out with my favorite punch that does both the sentiment and a mat behind it. So I used that one. And then I sponge with Pool Party because that's, I really liked that color. I felt it matched the paper really nicely. And then I um, did use my ovals collection to do, to die cut where these little animals are in the boat. And I just think it's so cute. And then the back, oops, see, did I do it wrong again? Oh my gosh, just drives me crazy. I should have put this on the opposite way. Oh wow, that's all right. So then I wrote my two verses here and separated because we're reading two today. So, and then I also did that same oval punch and sponged around the edges there. And the two colors that I used for my scripture writing was Calypso Coral and Pretty Peacock. So there we go. There it is, it's so cute, I love it. Alrighty, well there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's video and this card. Um, it was fun creating it and I hope you all have a blessed rest of your day. And until tomorrow, remember, Choose joy, and may God bless you all. Bye-bye.